Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Sam with Rococo. Have you ever wanted to mix two motion capture animations? Well, there is a super easy way to do this in Maya using the time editor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trim, retime, and blend mocap animations using the time editor in Maya. Let's check it out. First things first, let's find some mocap animation from the motion library to play with. If we go to Windows, Animation Editors, and then we select the Motion Library, this is Rococo's Motion Capture Marketplace, where you can find, demo, and purchase motion capture assets from AAA publishers. Let's open my library to see a list of all of my assets. In this tutorial, we're going to use these three that I purchased from Motec Entertainment. Let's start with this breakdancing one. I can click in for an expanded view to check it out. If I click import, I can drop this animation directly into my scene. Boom. As always, my animation from Motion Library will automatically have a character definition, so when we retarget this animation to a character, it will be super easy. Okay, if we hit play, we can see our animation in our scene. Let's say we wanted to manipulate this clip a little bit. I don't really like this T pose that it starts in, so we could trim that off. And I also want it to jump into slow-mo in the middle of the jump. Good news is we can use the time editor to do all of this within Maya. Select Windows, Animation Editors, Time Editor to bring up the window. Select the hips, not the reference locator, the hips, and then click Add Selected Content from the Scene. So now we have our animation for our skeleton in clip form, which is actually really powerful already. We can scrub the scene from this timeline, and we can move the animation around super easily. Let's say we wanted our animation to start after the T-pose. We could just drag the animation to before frame zero and blammo. Now if we hit play or we're rendering, we wouldn't see the T-pose. It's a bit messy just to leave this beginning bit here, so instead of that we can position the playhead right after the T-pose, then right click the clip and hit split at current frame. Then I can delete the beginning and we are left with this clean animation. Okay, now let's say we wanted the animation to go into slow motion during the jump here. I could render this out at 60 frames a second and then do all the retiming in the edit, but that would be a lot of extra frames to render depending on how slow you want the slow-mo to go. Instead, we can use the time editor to accomplish this within Maya. First, let's cut out the part we want for slow motion. Then move the ending clip out a little bit to give us some room, and click this button on the toolbar, Scale, which you can also find under Edit. If we select the end of this clip, we can drag it out to make it play slower. We could also scale this down to make the animation play faster. Now if we drag all the clips together, we can see that we have a slow-mo bit right in the middle here. If we kind of drag them on top of one another, we get this transition effect, and it can be retimed a little bit more smoothly. Let's play it through and check it out. Looks good. So finally, let's add this animation to a character. I have this rigged robot here that has already been characterized using Maya's Human IK panel. If you want to learn more about the process to characterize your character to be able to retarget mocap really easily, check out our other tutorials. If I assign the mocap animation to the source and hit play, here we go. We can play through it here, and the fact that this was all done within Maya will save us time on the back end. 
Okay, so now let's say we want to combine two separate animations. I have a new project here, and I think it would be cool if we combined this run with this little slip on the ice. So one thing to note is that to combine animations, they have to share the exact same skeleton. So I've selected two animations from the same publisher, Motec Entertainment. Let's download and import our run animation. Now we'll open up the time editor, select our hips, and add the selected content from the scene. Okay, we've got our run in the time editor, but now how do we add the slip into this run? Let's jump back to the motion library and download our slip. So to add this slip to the run, we'll need to find our FBX in the Explorer. When you download content from the motion library, the FBX will be added directly to your downloads folder. So find this clip in your downloads folder and then drag that FBX directly into the time editor. Now if we drag this slip clip up into our run track, we can see that the skeleton will transition to our new animation. So what's important here is that both animations are on the same skeleton already. Now we just need to smooth this transition out a bit. So let's find the best place to blend these clips. When the character slips, their left foot is on the ground. So this is probably the best shared spot for us to blend these clips. So let's find when the left foot is on the ground for our runner and then we'll trim the animation so it ends there. Now go to the point on our slip where we want the transition to happen and trim the animation so it starts here. If we drag these together and check it out, we can see that it's kind of working, but the final step is to reposition our slip animations so that it looks more natural. Right click on our run and select match relocators. Select the left foot of the skeleton, because this is the position we want both animations to share, Click Next, then click the end of the first clip, and finally leave these last settings alone. Now when we hit Match, it will move our slip animation into position. The final step is to just blend these clips together so it looks a little bit more natural. Now we can add our robot back in again and see how it looks on a character. I'll drag in the robot, and then select our animation as the source, and there we go. So we hope this tutorial was helpful. The time editor is a great way to play with mocap clips you can get from the Rococo Motion Library, and it makes it really easy to set up your scene and, uh, and your animations exactly as you need them. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or reach out to us directly at support at Thanks so much and stay tuned for more updates.